We were very fortunate to be chosen by the OHC for this particular grant and we brought in a lot of people from our community and surrounding towns that came in to see this. And the people were very impressed with the exhibit coming from the Smithsonian. We expected great things and we got great things from it. And the people in this area, some of them don't travel that far to go to the big city. We're used to driving in the rural area and they don't like the traffic. So there were many of them that came to see the exhibit. Our mission with Main Street is for everyone to experience the downtown area, this historic downtown area. So anytime we can spread things out so that people can move around and see those buildings, you know, that's just a positive. So the walking tour was designed to do that. They made it an absolute loop. They started uh, at the Heritage Center and just followed Main Street, went all the way to the school, the courthouse, um, to the museum, and then ended up at the library. The Smithsonian was the last stop on this walking tour. I was asked to do a walking tour brochure, and as I put it together, I wanted to give people just a little taste of what they're gonna see if they'd stop and look at the displays. So I pulled out the juicy parts, you know, and little, and little quotes and put, put on there so that people would know those things were there. We had one on the early day financial institutions because even though we're a really small community, we had numerous banks in the early days. And so we chose Eastman National Bank and the top of it um, was shaped like the Eastman National Bank, which was built in the early 1900s. And then each side had different, different financial institutions on it. Another one we had upstairs in the quilt shop has a, a beautiful room upstairs that is a, she's set up like a museum and we had the agriculture one up there. Anyway, we tried to match the displays and the exhibits with the businesses on Main Street. I, I was surprised at how much time they spent looking at the exhibits. I mean, we had kind of an open house where we went on the walking tour, but it wasn't just that one night event. It was any time while they were up until we took them down. You were able to see people stop and talking and looking at things that they, they would have never even thought to think about, I mean, thought to look at or history to know. And so I think that it really made a really big impact on the town. You could just sort of see the the citizens just kind of stand up a little straighter when they walked by and, and they always wanted to bring people downtown to see the displays. So I think it built a lot of community pride, which is the greatest thing you could ask for. A lot of people want to do this again. They, they're looking forward to another chance to do this and, and work together with other people and, and broaden their horizons. When you're small, I think you have more pride and you understand that there are fewer of you um, and so you want things to happen. The community has a lot of pride in its heritage. And um, I think being small is an asset, not a liability. In my opinion, it's the greatest thing that's ever happened to Newkirk.